guys, we're Hollywood Undead, and this is YouTube. We all grew up loving punk music punk. since we were kids. We were all little punksters. No, we grew up in Hollywood going to the punk shows. Where was it? The Palace, which yeah. is now the Avalon, the Troubadour, Troubadour the Whiskey. Whiskey. Seeing all the, the bands growing up, and we, we'd always talked about wanting to make a punk, punk song as Hollywood Undead, and kind of as an ode to our childhood and the nostalgic vibe of going to shows when we were kids and stuff. We've tried to do it multiple times too, but it just kind of wasn't right. But we worked with Drew Folk who loved punk too. Like in his studio, all he had was like punk posters all over his walls, yeah, like those yeah. little flyers. So when we were writing the lyrics, uh, we're like, we recorded in Hollywood, actually like very close to where I grew up as a little kid. And uh, we're like in a driveway riding on a car and we're like, uh, man, this shit feels cool. I feel like a kid again, like when we first started our band. So when we're writing it, it's kind of like live fast, like, you know, what we did as kids, nothing fucking mattered besides music. If you didn't go to shows, you were like at home staring at your wall. So it's like that was the place to be when you were young. And that's what it kind of felt like we're writing again. It's like I felt like a teenager. Now, but, I think also we wanted to make a song that we can play live and uh, something that has like that punk energy and like, you know. Nothing's got that energy. Nothing's except for got punk. that energy. Uh, punk is not dead, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Dude, no it doubt survives. So well, besides no doubt, we're still bringing punk. <laughs> well, besides, we're still bringing it. Here, Hotel California and uh, our lead track, Hourglass, come out August 12th. Uh, be sure to listen to Hourglass and the whole fucking record if you know what's good for you. Don't oh, cuss. Yeah. Go again. Um, Heck yeah. yeah. My kids are going to watch Dude, this, this is punk rock. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. No this doubt would cuss. Right, Gwen would cuss. Go into what you said. I, uh, Jay said really covers it. It was cool because we're on the side of the street in Hollywood where... You know, we started doing music together when we were kids and the fact that all those years have passed and we're on our eighth record and we're back in that same environment, in those same streets and uh, we're all still doing it is it's one of those things that I think affected the process a lot. A lot of nostalgia in this record, a lot of that energy that I think we had uh, in the beginning because, you know, you're fresh and this kind of made, brought all that new that new feeling back where we we're doing it for the first time, even after all that time. Yeah, Something like that. Boring. Um, I would say, <laughs> I would say it was the first time too because we've talked about it before. But all being in the same room and writing songs together as a band, like we started songs from scratch. A lot of farting. A lot of farting going on, and nothing like everyone was all on board. Everyone said, "Okay, I'm into this." Yeah. Because we're all in the same room and we made the songs the best they could be, and everyone signed off on them. I feel like it was the first record that was most similar to writing the first two that we did. Like a lot of the ego was dropped, ideas were like taken, and like actually, for to me, made me feel like when the band first started. And you know, a few records in between, you get pulled in different directions from like you know fucking suits, record labels. This is the first time where I personally was like, I don't give a fuck. Like I want to make, I want to have fun. Like I'm not trying to be the biggest band in the world anymore. Like let's yeah. just write music for it, fun. Music can quickly turn into a business at, or like a job after a, enough time. And yeah. I think this brought us back to why we started writing music, which had nothing to do with money or album sales or any of those things. It was just because it was in our hearts and that's what we wanted to do. And I think we got back to that and uh, it was really refreshing to, yeah. to, to feel that. To make music that we want to play, that we yeah. want to listen to. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're on the uh, we're on the Rockzilla tour right now with our friends Papa Roach and Falling in Reverse and Bad Wolves and uh, I think we're only like four days in right now but it's been insane. All family. It's big, good. Ass, big ass shows. We all get along. We're playing arenas every night and uh, we met these guys over time. It's funny because like we change as people. We progress. We feel like you know just as individuals inside ourselves and I feel like all these other bands have as well. Like we're all on the same page, so it feels good. Yeah, a lot of time in between, mm -hmm. but. It's good that we're all still doing it, that's for sure. Yeah, and I think uh, coming back from COVID, I could just see like the energies there every night with the crowd and... Um, Not for us, because we all have COVID, but <laughs> yeah. for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the shows have been... Uh, no, it's good wild. to be out on, on tour with Papa Roach too, especially those dudes. We've known them and like we've toured through so many tours with them. This is our third real tour I feel like I know all their shoe sizes, I swear to God, these guys. <laughs> Didn't Jacoby say that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't use Jacoby's shit. material in an interview, bro, he's going to see it. <laughs> hey, yeah, come out and see us, guys. We'd love to see you. It's been a long time. We're happy to be out. Yeah, every band's bringing it. Listen to us and no doubt. <laughs> we'll see Get you ready on the Rockzilla some, tour. Some new tracks with no that doubt. we play in life. Walking uh, into the fucking Spiderwebs. Festival. <laughs>